I have it. I have my new baby. Baby, yeah, baby. I have my new baby. And it's this. This is my new pH meter. Isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love this. Okay. Um, as a lot of you guys know, I do make all my own products and I do check the pH. And I was using the pH um, papers, um, the Merkel or the Mahoney. I can't remember what it was, but they were, they were good, pretty good pH drinks. But they gave you a range. You couldn't be quite sure exactly what the pH pH was. Um, and because I was getting more advanced in my techniques, um, and by the way, um, I am no longer a mixologist. I am a kitchen chemist. Um, and I and I say that because a mixologist goes in, puts it together, and hopes that it works. A kitchen chemist actually starts to get into the, the real nuts and bolts and knows why something will work or why it wouldn't. And they actually really do check things like pHs and know that a good pH is going to be a world of difference between um, hair and skin that feels nicely moisturized um, versus um, something that's going to dry you out. Um, and they know when that a higher pH is desirable for certain things. So I am in that realm now. I am now a kitchen chemist. I am not a cosmetic chemist because I do not um, get paid just for the chemistry because um, this is still fun for me yes I spend over 100 bones for this yes you know but I find that this particular um, meter is worth it is worth spending over 100 bucks for um, I redid a batch of my uh, sunflower shampoo and I was roughly saying it was about 6.5. Well, with my pH meter, it does it does the pH and it checks it based on the temperature too because the warmer your product is, the more hydrogen ions move. And basically that's what you're measuring when you're measuring pH. You're measuring the total amount of hydrogen ions in a, in a product. And so the more they move, the more heat they generate. Um, and so it can actually really throw off um, your pH readings. Well, this adjusts that that um, that novelty for the temperature. It, it tells me the pH based on the current temperature that I had. So um, whether I measure this cold or hot, it's going to give me the pH. Now, this when I used this on my sunflower shampoo, I had just really finished making it and finished um, blending everything together. Um, at the right temperature to make sure that it was a nice smooth product, which was around 88. Um, but at 88, the pH of my sunflower shampoo is 6.42, not 6.5 like I thought, 6.42, which is perfect for your hair, perfect, and perfect for your skin too. So yes. You can use the sunflower shampoo as a body wash. Um, I don't know if you want to do that, but everything that's in the sunflower shampoo is great for your body um, because the sunflower extract itself is an antioxidant and we say you need to use that for your skin anyway. So that's good. Of course, glycerin is good for your skin. Um, you know, all my surfactants that I use, I use um, two different kinds in the sunflower shampoo. They're from coconut oil and we know that's good for your skin. Um, you know, of course, plenty of water. That's good for your skin. Soy protein. Protein is good for your skin. It helps trap more, more moisture. Um, guar gum to help thicken it. Um, I have oat flour, which is great for your skin, too, especially if you have dry skin. So the sunflower shampoo can double as a body wash if you want it to. Um, but you may want to save it for your hair. So, but that's it, guys. You know, I just wanted to show you my pH meter. I am so excited. I, you know, like I said, I have it. Um, this should last me for a good long time um, because this particular one has a refillable um, electrode so I can refill it. And so that means that what I paid for will take me over in years um, as far as that's concerned. So I'm excited, you know, so I got a couple more things I'm going to make, but this bad boy, 
it's my life saver. For so what I'm going to actually start doing, I think, is listing the pHs of my products so that some of you guys can actually see what the, the pH is, especially my hair products for those who are more pH savvy. Um, and you can actually see what pH of my products are. And you know that I actually have the pH meter. So I'm telling the truth. OK, so if you're looking to just conversate with me and ask me more questions. Of course, you are more than welcome to comment on the YouTube. I don't always come on YouTube. You know, I'm not a big vlogger. Um, I'm always on Facebook because I, I help run two different pages there. So that's backslash natural by design cosmetics um, on Facebook. Um, I, I'm, you know, at NBD Cosmetics for Twitter because I do tweet every once in a while. Um, and of course, you can definitely go to one of my shops um, at nbdcosmetics.etsy.com or nbd.cosmetics.artfire.com. Um, I'm everywhere. Um, I'm also one of the page managers of, uh, of I Love My Natural Curly Kinky Hair. So um, I'm, I'm pretty social. In other words, so you can always get to me if you have questions about hair or skin. Doesn't necessarily have to be about my products, though. I'm always going to recommend them, but I want you guys to be informed, and and that's the big thing. I love the science behind all of this, um, which is why this is so exciting for me. So sunflower shampoo, it is a 6.42, perfect for hair and skin. Go get it. Bye, guys. Love your natural self.